So early this year on Twitter, I saw the post for the 2022 recap for Vue.js and I decided to have a read on that um, article and I found something really interesting that I want us to talk about in this um, video. So this is my reaction to what I found and um, let's let me just show you what it is. So in here is the article I'm talking about. I'm also going to link to it in the description below. So I'm going to scroll all the way to this heading called vapor mode. And this, I did not know how I've missed this because it's been like a project that's been working that the view team has been working on for like at least at least five months. And um, I'm a Vue.js developer myself, so I was pretty bummed that I missed it. But anyways, I found it and uh, I'm also talk about it in this video. So yeah, so the vapor mode in Vue is going to be an alternative compilation an alternative compilation strategy that is heavily inspired by SolidJS. All right. So if you don't know Solid, I'm gonna like I'm gonna look into it in a bit. So when I saw this, this caught my attention. I actually made a tweet about it. I also linked to the tweet, and I think so. Uh, some other view developers did not know about work on this, but I also saw a tweet again, which I'm going to link to that um, I think it was made on June when even you um, announced work on this strategy in Vue.js Amsterdam, I, th I think, of last year. So yeah, so what this mean? What does it mean? So for this compilation strategy, the key takeaway is, first of all, you're not going to have to change your existing single file components in Vue. They're going to work the same way. Okay. you you're going to write them the same way you've been writing them. But if you opt in to the vapor mode, because it's opt in just like the composition API in Vue 3, you are going to have a significantly performant component because this strategy is at the component level. So you're going to have a very significant performant component and of course, since it's going to be VDOM less, that means they're going to not going to be VDOM. The the base runtime for view is going to be significantly smaller because the VDOM logic won't be part of the runtime being shipped for Vue.js. And this is really interesting. Okay, so now if you read this article which i'm going to link but let's look at some key points that we've talked about so the vapor mode is intended for use cases where performance is the primary concern it is opt-in and does not affect existing code bases i like this because um, last year there have been a lot of work from svelte and solid on making performant frameworks and even quick as well so and myself included i've been very concerned about performance lately I'm even reading a book about it this this one responsible javascript right so this has been something that has been top of mind for me and seeing other frameworks uh, leading in this um in this race for more um performant javascript and more um performance frameworks for your uis i'm really glad to see that my favorite framework is also doing this and one thing i love about even you and the view ecosystem is we are not shy to be influenced by other frameworks and learn from them just like with the composition api we learn from react hooks and this is good again because we can take what is working for other ecosystem and make it our own and make it better i love this and uh, yeah so let's go let's go on with it so um the second point here is at the very least you'll be able to embed the vapor component subtree into an existing v3 app this makes a whole lot of sense because we are not trying to show you this new way to write your single file components in view but if you you could say like once this is shipped you could say okay maybe this component is going to be compiled in vapor mode all right while you could have your existing VDOM components and they could 
both live side by side and you won't even know the difference in terms of the dx because you're still going to author the same single file components you know so building an app with only vapor components allow you to drop the virtual dom runtime from the bundle size from the bundle significantly reducing the baseline runtime size amazing so like i said before if you're going to ship just vapor mode components like your components are going to be compiled in the vapor mode there'll be no need to ship the virtual dom and of course view is going to smartly know this and remove the virtual dom altogether from your runtime bundle size amazing so you have smaller footprint for the view runtime when you ship your view applications this is super super good and um, yeah so the last point here is in order to achieve the best performance vapor mode will only support the subset of view features in particular vapor mode components will only support composition api and script setup however this support subset will work exactly the same between vapor and non-vapor components so what this means is you are going to have a subset of view features if you're using vapor mode but i think this subset should be what a lot of people will be using normally so this wouldn't really affect that much but if you're using options api you won't have access to vapor mode all right so and the reason is for best performance as said in this article and you sh you, you would have to be using the script setup way of writing view three um composition api single file components so you're going to be using script setup for that and that's that's also cool because i believe the script setup is is a great dx for writing single file components in view 3 and that's super good as well all right so i said i, I was going to talk about about solid and i'm just going to show you the little comparison solid is doing so solid is also a very performant vdomless framework by ryan Kanyato, and i uh, i have a tkyt session for solid i'm going to link i will put it up somewhere in this video so you could go check that out so yeah and the solid focus on fine grain reactivity and uh, it's a little bit influenced by view but it says so in this comparison we see solid is not particularly influenced by view design wise but they are comparable in approach right so they both use proxies in their reactivity system with read based auto tracking right but that is where the similarity ends views fine grain dependency detection just feeds into a less fine grain virtual dom and component system where where a solid keeps its granularity right down to its direct dom update so solid makes direct dom updates and this is something we are going to be doing in view as well we're going to make in direct dom updates and not bother with the vdom if you are using the vapor mode and this is good so view will be similar to solid in the sense of we are already fine-grained but we're we're using virtual dom but with this with vapor mode there will be no need for that and i just want to show you uh the like the outputs note this is not the code you write i saw some confusion out there like um whoa this is this how i'll be writing my view single file components and for no this is the output when you use the vapor mode and you could see it's making direct dom updates and it's setting reactive bindings with with the effect so you could see the output is pretty pretty minimal and uh, everything is done directly to the dom and this is going to be done as a at a compilation stage all right so this is amazing i love it so let's look at the key takeaways if we do this if this ship because according to that article this should be shipping sometime this year in 2023 which is good so first of all the first thing you need to note there won't be any change to how you write sfc in view all right and two which is something you should like is so this will make for a more performance view 
components for more performance view components view components so you're going to have much much more performance view components and of course one thing i like again is this is strictly opt-in opt-in at the component level so you don't have to say okay i must have my entire app to be all compiled in vapor mode you could say certain components should be compiled in vapor mode so if you want those if you if performance view is already good in in doing really nice stuff and it's fast enough but if you really want to get that solid veiled vdom list performance this is the way to go in view i love the view syntax a lot and um, this is the this is amazing because i get to have all the benefits that folks are having in solid and svelte and not give up my view syntax which i've already grown to love so if you're like that you'd also love it as well and uh, let's let's see one last uh, so more points it's um of course vdom no vdom no vdom yay yes let's put a confetti in there all right so no vdom and um five it's going to work with script setup only and also not in the options api all right so with composition api using the script setup it's going to work with it and not use not going to be available for options api so i am excited to see this ship as soon as possible and i'll probably do more videos on it and just let me know what you think about this about this um, change coming to view pretty pretty soon in 2023 and if you like this reaction video let me know what you think as well and if you want to see more of this sort of videos where i just react to things i see and i'm interested in view javascript whatever and uh, yeah so you could also click the subscribe button if you want to get notified of such videos when i make it so yeah let me know what you think about this new compilation strategy coming to view and you could you could let me know about it in the comment section.